нормально дом стоит, вон я вижу его. Сюда ракурс не очень, но дым вот он, прям вот, прям, это прям жесть. Я вот только что уши обработал, у меня с ушей кровь потекла, пока я бегал по делам. Вот. Ну, сами все поймете. Садики все выбыло вообще. Просто все рамы. Вот там вот все со стороны. У Нера вот все сюда. Даже листы скинуты. О, нет, тут на кухне вообще пипец. Дверь выглянула вообще. А, так вот, вся двухэтажка вообще выбита, ты чё? Сейчас. Ну и... Еще. On September the 12th, Ukrainian sappers broke through Russian defenses along the border near the village of Noviput, about 30 kilometers west of the Ukrainian standoff in the Kursk region. As Forbes writes, what looked like a short and minor assault quickly turned into a much more dangerous phenomenon for Russians. Ukrainian armored vehicles rapidly advanced several kilometers past the new route toward the nearest town of Veselo. The Ukrainian armed forces reached the southern outskirts of the town and practically took control of it. This happened no later than Saturday. Already on Sunday, a Defense Forces fighter jet dropped a glide bomb with satellite guidance on a possible Russian position in a building in the center of Veselogo. The destruction was monitored from a drone by fighters from the Ukrainian Korn UAV unit. We are watching you all, they joked on social media. As the publication notes, the Russian garrison around Vesologo includes a large number of poorly trained young conscripts who, according to Kremlin policy, should not participate in combat. It is likely that it was the involvement of inexperienced and poorly trained conscripts that led to the rapid advance of the Ukrainian armed forces in this direction. It's an ominous sign for the Russians that their defense efforts in Veseloy also appear to be relying on untrained young men in their teens and early 20s. If the Russians respond to the Ukrainian attack on Veseloy the same way they responded to the broader Ukrainian incursion into the Kursk region last month, they may end up redeploying some better trained airborne forces to blunt the Ukrainian advance. Forbes notes. Apart from the Khorne unit, it is unknown which Ukrainian forces are involved in the battle for Veseloy. However, it is worth noting that the UAV video shows that Turkish-made Kirpi armored trucks, popular among Ukrainian Marines, took part in the breakthrough. The 36th Marine Brigade, 
is involved in the fighting east of Kursk, so it is possible that its fighters are involved in this operation as well.